SELFSI, Spoken Easy Language for Social Inclusion. Dear Gunta, dear colleagues, thank you for inviting me to take a part in this important event when you will be discussing how to speak in easy language and how to explain social inclusion in easy language. I have to tell you, it's not an easy task. It's not an easy task for us at the EU level. I think it's not an easy task for you in uh, member states, and it's definitely not an easy task for the persons who are uh, working in the social policy. But we have to try and we have to keep trying and we have to make sure that we increase the knowledge and the, the information sharing about easy language and that we really try our best in addressing this important issue. Let me tell you a few things what is being done at EU level and what are we trying to do when it comes to the implementation of the policies on persons with disabilities. I'm sure that by now everybody who is there knows that we do have our new strategy for the rights of the persons with disabilities. We call it our EU disability strategy and it's a very important document which sets priorities for persons with disabilities, but also priorities for uh, policy makers at EU level, at national levels, at local level, and it is our guide towards actions in the area of disability. When it comes to concrete deliverables and concrete results of the strategy, we can speak about very important actions. There are seven actions that we call flagship initiatives, and these flagship initiatives are of utmost importance for the persons with disabilities. One of the flagship initiatives is, for example, the disability platform. And in the disability platform, we meet with the member states, with the civil society, with the other relevant institutions, and we discuss about every problem that is relevant for the persons with disabilities. Then there is another very important uh, flagship, like uh, employment package for persons with disabilities. And it's a whole set of documents and activities which are very important for keeping the persons with disabilities in employment, helping them to be recruited, and also finding the right skills for them and also for the employers that would like to employ them. Then there are many other uh, activities like Accessible EU. And I'm very sure that all of you know that ac accessibility is an absolute prerequisite for lives of persons with disabilities. Without accessibility, it would be very difficult to imagine everyday life and it would be very difficult to imagine fulfillment of the different priorities. Maybe some of you have heard that we at the EU level have introduced the Accessible EU. And what is Accessible EU? It's resource, so-called resource center. And what does it mean? It means that those who are involved in Accessible EU they are gathering the information, they are sharing information about uh, uh, accessibility, and they are working on increasing the visibility of accessibility. Supported by the Accessible EU, we have already uh, uh, started and we are already sharing the community of practice. And we believe that it will grow and it will be richer and richer every day. Accessible EU is there to also to support the experts who are facing challenges of implementation, but also to support persons with disabilities themselves, for example, to show the way how persons with disabilities can participate in, for example, standardization processes. 
and standardization and the use of standards still face many challenges that we will help to overcome with Accessible EU. There are many challenges in the area of transport, for example, where practices often focus on the provision of assistance, but the full enjoyment of the rights of passengers with disabilities requires accessibility. And in that context, our EU passenger rights legislation works hand in hand with European Accessibility Act. And I'm sure that you have heard about the Accessibility Act because we are very proud that this important piece of legislation was adopted a couple of years ago. And now every member states have to implement those provisions and have to help persons with disabilities to have a more accessible environment. We have seen how synergies are needed to build between different stakeholders, to build between users, industry, policymakers, and those who are responsible for some specific aspects like procurement, for example. There is a lot of demand for, for the coordination among these sectors and Accessible EU can definitely support this. And I'm very happy to share with you that in each member states, including your own member states, including uh, 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 many other uh, uh, countries and stakeholders, the Accessible EU is going to have their conferences, uh, seminars, roundtables, and I'm pretty sure that they will uh, uh, play a crucial role in developing the maximum potential of both vocational and higher educational students, as well as supporting new professionals in accessibility who can then lead the implementation of the EU accessibility legislation. Let me also tell you about one very important aspect of the work and of the implementation of uh, the disability strategy. It is our work on independent living. And I'm certain that for many of you, this is a key challenge that you are facing. It is very important to be independent. It is very important to live in a community. It is very important to be included. And that's why we are working on the guidelines to the member states, how to implement the independent living priorities and how to put it in practice. Lastly, allow me to tell you a little bit about our newest flagship initiative, and this is the European Disability Card. European Disability Card and the European Parking Card for Persons with Disabilities is a proposal from the Commission to the Member States in a form of the directive, which means that it is a legally binding instrument. In the end, it means that everyone will have to implement it and everyone will have to respect the obligations from the European Disability Card. Disability Card, once adopted, will serve as a proof of disability when you are traveling for a short visit or a stay in another member state. You will not, you will not have to prove anymore that you have a disability. With this little card, everyone will know that you are a person with disabilities and whenever preferential treatments or special conditions are offered to a person with disabilities, you will be able to use them and to access them in a very simple manner. And this is something that we are very proud of. And we are now discussing with the member states. We are now negotiating on the provisions of these cards, parking cards as well. And I hope that soon this directive will become our European reality. I could tell you many more things about disability and accessibility, and also about the, the uh, rights of the persons with disabilities. But I want to give you several messages. First, your voice is important and your rights are important. Next year, we will have the European elections 
and there will be many national elections. It's very important for you to be involved in these elections and that your voice and your decisions are heard. Therefore, be engaged, be loud and be present. Secondly, I want to tell you that there is a big amount available for each member state via European funding, be it from the fund which is called European Social Fund Plus or some other funds that can help you in your everyday life. From the education, from the employment, from the social inclusion, securing the personal assistance, for example, making sure that children with disabilities are included in the preschool education, in the kindergartens. And please make sure that you are present when the discussion about priorities for persons with disabilities is ongoing and when they, I mean your member states, are and your authorities are discussing about you. Because we very much agree with your logo and slogan, nothing about you without you, nothing about us without us. With this, I wish you lots of success for this conference. As you know very well, we really like to put easy language for social inclusion in practice. You can find easy language uh, uh, interpretation of our strategy for the rights of the persons with disabilities. You can find also the proposal of the directive on European Disability Card and many others in an easy language. We think and I believe that it's crucial and it's a very important element and we would like to help you in any way that we can. Successful conference, lots of good luck and please keep me informed how the conference went. Thank you very much and good luck. CELSI, Spoken Easy Language for Social Inclusion. Partners are Zavo Trisa, RTV Slovenia, Dyslexi Verbundet, Universita degli Studi di Trieste, Vieglas Valodas Agentura, Vilnius Universitetas, Vsi Informatio Scaupimo Irsklaidos Centras. Funded by the European Union.